Here we are in Betier. Betier, Betier, Betier. Welcome back to my Travel Turkey GoPro series. In this episode five, we're in the seaside town of Betier where we ate our weight in Turkish delights and learned all about Turkish rugs. My friend Hannah and I spent three weeks traveling Turkey, so click the subscribe and notification buttons for my YouTube channel, Roxanne Taylor Media, so you can come too. Let's go. Fethiye is a port city on Turkey's southwest turquoise coast. The town is quite touristy, but it was a perfect mid-trip pit stop to recharge and just be on holiday. So when in Turkey, be going to check out, they've got heaps of spices and plenty of Turkish delight desserts out on display. So we're gonna go and have a look and maybe try a few of the little local delicacies. Who could resist a Turkish delight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, free sample, please. Hannah, be rude not to. How long is it been sitting there for? Maybe you can try the other stuff. All right. <laughs> You try, you will love it. You will fall in love with it. Is there gelatin in it? No, it's all vegan. My is it family, vegan? Yes, my mother and father is cooking them. They are vegan plus gluten free with Ivers. pomegranate and pistachio. Chewy, but it's because we like it uh, with Turkish coffee or tea. You know, when we have uh, coffee, we next to it we have Turkish delight. To chewy it and we have coffee slowly, you know. It increases your time, uh, conversation time, you know, so you have better <laughs> dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, this yes. is called refreshment. Ah, uh, apple and pomegranate tea. Tishukula. <laughs> apple and pomegranate tea? Yes, yes. This is my family mm. oh, company. Like really we have been pony. here for more than 30, um. 30 second years. Same decoration, even the same basket. See, these haven't been washed in 30 yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> Come inside, I'll, I'll prove it. Come inside. So I've been assured that they're all vegan. This is no sugar added. Instead of sugar, we are using caramel and pumpkin and dates. That is delightful. Yes. That's and you can, you can delight. taste that it's healthy. Mm. You know? All vegan, okay? I love animals. I love nature. Really? Yes, they, they look too good. I can't believe this. Oh my god! And Turkish people, you know, from in our religion, we don't prefer to eat gelatin. Of course! You know, having a vegan dessert. Yes, <laughs> she said that to me, like a creamy Nutella filled jelly cup. Almond and hazelnut and vanilla is one of my favorites. Wow. That is unreal. Smaller. Small one. Self serve. We get to pick all of the delights. I think we need to get this one. We need to get that one. So one of these or two of these? Two of these. Let's just cover them in extra coconut. Granite. You like that one? So I'm sure. This was like heaven. This was sensational. Oh wow. Ooh, the coconut. Did you like this one? Or should we get something random? You like this one? How can that be vegan? Maybe this strawberry looking one. No. It looks like a classic cherry delight, doesn't that. it? Yeah. Is that covered in icing sugar? Yes. Ah, yum. Very healthy. Have we done the damage? I think we've got a heart attack ready. Yum. Yeah. From Turkish delights to Turkish rugs, we finally found out the meaning of a kilim. Something to do with how it's woven. Old Orient Carpet Kilim Bazaar. And this building is over a hundred years old and it's just been renovated in the last few years. So beautiful. Ah! Because that's really unusual. Kilim is just a two side. Reversible. Yes. And is it oh. a different pattern on the other yes. side? Completely? Not exactly the same. And are they often like silk or is it different no, material? It's, most of them are wool and wool. So those are kilim. So this is kilim. And this is we call Jijim, which is means my love, Jijim. Yes, woman make it for her husband, so that's why she call it Jijim. <laughs> Woven and embroidered. They use summertime this type, like a kilim, mm -hmm. in winter this, because the pile keep warm. <laughs> we didn't have any space in our suitcases to buy any rugs, so we bid our farewell. Hey. But it wasn't long before we were beckoned into another rug so shop and shown another use for rugs. These are the holes. Oh. They used to cover tent as a curtain, letting the light through, you know. Oh. They used to cover whole tent with killings. You put on entrance of the door and the light and the air through into the holes. 
by this stage we're all rubbed out and stopped for some local lunch. So I'm just asking for a special order of vegetarian food. They're just going to show me what they've got. Yeah, chickpeas. I love that. Okay. So this is a traditional Turkish coffee. They're very tiny. It's like a little espresso and it's about half filled with sediment and then hot water. Mm, very strong flavour, but I like strong coffee. Wow, that was quick. Shukulad. Look at that. So I've got the chickpeas, green beans and rice. And some salad. Is that salad for me? I think so. With some chilies. Oh, yum. Whoa. And the food just keeps going. Now we have a whole thing of bread. See, this is not the country to be skinny in. So this is 20 lira, which is about $4 pretty damn good and then we've actually mixed a different two different rice together the salad must be for us to share i'll try not to eat it all so happy so this is olu Dinez beach and we just took a bus here from fetia and i think we're a little bit spoiled staying somewhere that is so relaxed and not so many tourists around because this is like major tourist zone but it's cool to see and it's really beautiful Whoa! Check out this amazing rooftop. We're gonna have our dinner for the sunset. Except I can smell cigars in here, it's all great. One of the coolest things about this sunset spot is that the sunset lasts for ages because it sets over the hill there, but it hasn't actually set yet, so it's still light. Look at all the sausage in that! <laughs> I need some more coffee before I do this camera. <laughs> this is the Kilimapart Hotel in Fetia. That's pool number one. We stayed at the Kilimapart Hotel for about 50 Australian dollars per night, which was a really nice treat. Got an ensuite, got a balcony. Rox even has a desk so she can work. This is living. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to the carps. We're on holiday, so I'll have it all. The bread basket? Yeah, why not? Um, this is the assortment of cheeses. That's my favourite. Three different cheeses to choose from. Are you going to eat more cereal? Yeah, why not? Yeah, because I'm being skinny. Because I'm being skinny. Oh, it's like caramel sauce. That's a healthy way to start the day. How big is the spoon? It's bigger than a koala bear's nose. Anna with her breakfast. It's my second breakfast. <laughs> and coffee. Cheese. <laughs> so first stop on the rocket clock, we're gonna go to Starbucks and we're gonna grab a coffee because they do soy milk. One of the only places with vegan milk that I've found in this country. This is how we start our day. Just a quick rise and grind. <laughs> Just for the record, we have had a fair bit of Turkish coffee while we've been but we thought we'd splash out the equivalent of two Australian dollars. What is this? <laughs> I'm just eating a cloud of milk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, tushukula. Yes. Is that got the seeds in it? Yes. I just see it in a packet normally. Oh, look at that. I need one of these. There's just so many cute little shops around here. More retail therapy. Hannah's it's a big a trap. big spender. <laughs> oh, Hannah's just dropping a bit of cash for Turkish lira. It's so much cheaper than the Aussie dollar, so why not? Got myself some bargains. <laughs> it just makes me feel really good. Uh, some might call it an addiction, but I call it a saving. Does that mean close? <laughs> That's where I learned that word. I can see myself spending lots of money. The average price of the wares here. Oh, where do I start? Some gold hoops? Five lira. One dollar. It's cheaper than Kmart. It's insane, man. The dress shop. Gorgeous dress. And then, ta da! <laughs> In real life. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've got the gorgeous hair. <laughs> Look at us <laughs> with <laughs> Great. It's small for you, huh? Thank this you. is a medium, yeah. Yes, medium, but. It'd be much more affordable for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so 
Is it fair over your big head? I can be a really dervish. What's the total? Uh, one hundred and five dollars for two beautiful boutique dresses. You can't beat that. I can't wait to wear them. <laughs> it looks like a little Turkish rug too. How cute! It's just not quite doing the job. You know when the zip breaks and. Your money just goes everywhere. Oh, uh, it's about a dollar something. Yeah. It's a shukula. <laughs> Thank you. It's good. So I just recharged up my phone with Turkcell. I got eight gig for about twelve dollars Australian. So that'll see me through for the rest of the trip. Yes, I just stacked it. <laughs> After our shopping spree was done, we explored the hillside village. Very steep. So I'm pretty sure these are just the little walking footpaths that go to all these houses up on the hill. Wow, wow. Oh, it's so cute. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So, always pack the night before you leave, so we were running just on time and then we double check what time our tour leaves and it leaves at 10, which is right now, <laughs> 11. <laughs> Did it! We checked out, got our suitcases and now we're just waiting for the cab. The boat company have assured us they're not going to leave without us, so we'll be there. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Next, we're off on a three-day boat cruise along the south coast with the most beautiful water. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. We're going to be those Aussies who rock up late with our big suitcases. Okay, hey guys, we're here. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>